Hey guys, what's up? So let me start this video with a short story without wasting much time. Okay, so one day I wanted to make a drone. So I watched many videos and got some idea of how to make a drone. But there was one problem. The problem was that the videos were too lengthy and did not match my requirements. My requirements were to make a racing drone with a carbon fiber frame, better battery life, at least one kilometer transmitter range, and I also wanted my drone to capture good quality video. So I made it. You trying to shut me out is getting blatant. Yeah, I come and see you now, no hesitation. Yeah, I'm really, really tired of being patient. Yeah, if you won't give it to me, I'ma take it. We are going to make it with a carbon fiber frame, a BR2205 2300kV brushless motor, Racer Star 4-in-1 EAC, a 6-inch propeller, a CC3D flight controller, FlySky transmitter and receiver, and finally 11.1V LiPo battery. So this is the list of components you need. You can buy these from the link in the description below. For you to understand this video easily, I have divided this video into 4 parts. First, we will make the frame. Second, we will attach the motors and solder them to ESC. Third, we will wire ESC to the CC3D and to the receiver. Fourth, we will set up our drone. So let's first make the frame. So the leg are going to fit in between the main base and the small base. We are going to use the long screws which are included in the frame kit to attach the legs. Then we are going to screw the poles and the top of the part with the small screws which are included in the frame kit. and your frame is done. Now let's fit the motors with the screws given with the motors. After soldering negative and positive wire, now let's solder motors to the ESC. So the first motor is going to be soldered at the M1 pins and the same goes for other three motors. Should be a wire diagram included with the ESC. To solder the first motor and then check the direction by connecting the battery to the ESC and connecting the negative wire of ESC on the bottom of the receiver 
positive wire in the middle and, and the motor 1 signal wire at the top and at the channel on which your throttle is. If you don't know what aileron throttle or any of the drone parameters, you can click the link above or in the description below. Okay, if you know what drone parameters are but don't know on which channel they are, you just switch on your controller, hold OK, go to setup and then display. And as you can see, my throttle is on channel number 3. Remember, motor 1 and 2 should spin clockwise, whereas motor 3 and 4 should spin anticlockwise. If any motor is spinning the opposite direction, just interchange any two wires and then the motor will be spinning in the correct direction. After the soldering is done, this is how you should connect the EAC wires to CC3 to the receiver. Now let's set up our drone. First, plug in the CC3D to your computer. Then, open the LiPo Pilot software. If you don't have the software, you can download this software from the link in the description. Okay, now that you have downloaded the LiPo Pilot software, open the LiPo Pilot software, click Vehicle Setup Wizard, click Next. This is the most important part, you have to update the firmware. Make sure you select Erase All Settings and click Upgrade. After that's done, click Next. You will be seeing your board in this section. If you don't, disconnect and connect the CC3D once again to your computer. Click Next, select PWM, then Multi Rotor, select Quad Copter X and then Standard ESC. In this section, we are calibrating our sensors, so keep your drone on a flat surface and then click calculate. In this section, we are calibrating our ESCs. Select these three boxes and before clicking start, make sure your battery is disconnected. Then press start. After pressing start, attach your battery. And you will hear a sound then stop stop select the last box and click next here we are calibrating our motors click start and drag the bar till your motor one starts spinning make sure your motor one is spinning in this direction then click stop do the same for all the other three motors. Here, select Generic Quad X, click Next, and Save. After your CC3D is done setting up, then set up your transmitter. Go according to the instructions given. Then go to the arming settings and select Left Yaw. Click Save, and your drone is done setting up. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Please like the video, share and subscribe. If you want to see more videos like this, please click the notification bell down there so you will get notified whenever I post a new video. So that's all for today. Bye.